Hi all, in part 9 of molecular docking using Autodoc 4.2.6, we are going to analyze and interpret the results for the docking runs which we have earlier performed for our drug and control. In order to analyze the result, we need to open the final working folder of our drug that is Vincristin and in which you have to find DLG file that is docking log file. You can open this with notepad and here if you search for histogram you can find histogram where you can find the lowest binding energy for the confirmation that is 5 or run 5 that is out of 10 runs what we have chosen the run 5 or confirmation 5 has been given the least binding energy that is minus 7.76 if you want to know more details regarding run 5, you can scroll up and you can find run details. This is run 7. Here, this is the details of run 5. Here, if you scroll down, you can see the final energy minus 7.76 again and Ki that is inhibitory constant. 2.05 micromolar and you can find the various energy details and if you scroll down you can see the XYZ axis orientations of each atom of our drug at which we got this minimum inhibit the minimum energy that is minus 7.76 and now if we want to visualize this result now we have to go to the auto dock where go to analyze dockings open and here you can open our DLG file open and next you need to open the macromolecule that is our protein if you press open automatically it will be opened and now you are about to see the confirmations at which we got very good result that is run 5 again go to analyze confirmations play here we can see here is our drug Vincristin you can see it here in confirmation number 1 it was binded like this if I keep changing this you can see a changes in the confirmations and next confirmation number 3, 4 and 5. Fifth confirmation in this we got very good binding that is least binding energy and so we are going to write complex with this fifth confirmation by pressing end symbol and then write complex. Here we are going to save our complex in PDB QT format. I am going to give the protein name first that is 6i81 followed by the ligand vincristin and then followed by the run number that is run 5 dot pdbqt. I have given this name for my understanding you can give any name. If we see this, we can understand which protein binded with which ligand and which run was perfect that is the best match. That's why I have chosen this but it is up to you. Once press save and then close. Now you can see that run 8 pdbqt, run 5 pdbqt in your uh, working folder. Now open this run 5 in discovery studio. Here we are going to visualize the interactions. Go to scripts, ligand interactions, show ligand binding atoms. So these are the atoms or amino acids which are interacting directly with our ligand. If you want to label them go to structure label add and choose amino acid okay 
here you can see the leucine of 383 sequence number is having some interaction with our ligand if you want to see the 2d diagram you can press show 2d diagram here where the 2d diagram will be generated here you can see the structure of our uh, vincristin and its interactions with various amino acids of our protein if you want to show see the distance between the amino acid and our uh, drug go to display style and here interactions show distances apply okay here you can see the distances in angstrom units so the distance between this oxygen and histidine at a chain 433 is 7.14 angstrom units then you need to compare the energies binding energy or the interactions number of interactions and with in with uh, which amino acid our ligand and control is binding you need to compare both of them and then you can come to a conclusion here i am showing the results of our control and previously we have seen the results of our drug by comparing these two with the help of the least binding energies or else the amino acids to which it was binding with which type of interactions and the number of interactions we can come to a conclusion